subscribe to the new Liam07. Thanks. So I uh, yes, um, we are live from my living room, but it is the day of the match. Um, I didn't do it last night, I just, I just forgot to do it, but um, I um, would do it today on the day of the match. So Celtic will look to uh, continue the Scottish Premiership, um, form their perfect start to the season, um, where they travel to St Mirren today, Paisley, and their seventh league out, and so the eight only cover night now, and they obviously the spoke last week, but it's still much um, week eight of the, the Scottish Premiership. The boys obviously come in the back with a Champions League draw. I wait to shut the air after kicking off their title defence with six straight wins. Um, but St Mirren, we we'll talk about you about St Mirren. Uh, they've, they've, they've certainly experienced a mixed start of the, the league campaign under our new management, Stephen Robertson, after they, they suffered defeats to Melrose, previous site, his former side, and they suffered um, an Aberdeen in their first two outings, with a lot of being a concern. Um, four one beaten, <coughs> but, um, and then um, they managed to put up the first points on the board one 0 win over Ross County. Uh, that was a Richard Tate only goal of the game. It was a really good goal. I, think, if I remember that one very well. I saw it in sports and really good goal. Um, before they made the back to back uh, wins for final victory away, um, three away win. Um, Obviously, that was a, a good time for them. So, looking to make it free in the bounce, Robertson side hosted Hibs and continued the run with another 1 1 win. Now, win having held out all for three points. Um, netted the only goal, um, it was Keen Yu, he netted the only goal in the sixth minute. Um, so they travelled the canal, I think, yeah, the last game before the um, the Queen Elizabeth they, they stopped the gate the weekend's games. Uh, with St Johnson, they travelled there with a chance to make it four straight wins for the first time since 2008. The, but the buddies would trail from the 26 minutes. Nicky Clark opened the scoring and setting off goals from Jay Wright and Graham Gary saw them condemned to a 3 0 defeat in Perth. Now, the Robert side should still be pleased with the start of the season. You know, that's kind of what some are, you know, they are. They're, they're trying to get into a way of trying to get that top six finish, um, which they're trying to push for. Um, but obviously, um, producing nine points when they're the six game, the first six games, that's decent, you know. Uh, but following obviously the postponement the last weekend's pictures due to the Queen of passing, um, they'll face a particularly on un, un, a big task on their return to league action as they face their runaway leaders, Celtic. Um, after we also went back to um, the Scottish Premiership last season, um, Celtic set out to retain their crown uh, this time around, and they've made a perfect start. Wins over that flag, the Aberdeen, away to Ross County, away to Kilmarnock and Hearts, and obviously Dundee United in the opening four out and scoring six, 12 goals. So, all around, I think we've scored, i check real quick, uh, we have scored 24 goals. Wow, 25 all in all. Wow, that's incredible. 18 points, not lost a game, 6 and 6. Um, Rangers two points behind us after that 2 1 win against London United yesterday. Also, we play today. So, yeah, um, the other teams that are playing today are Hearts and who's Hearts playing? Motherwell. Um, St. Mary are eighth on the table, nine points after a couple of wins in the league table. So, um, that's when my Jasper's side would then obviously make it 9 0. Um, for Ashton and United away from home, their biggest ever win on travels. Um, on the back of that, headed to the first old firm of the season, beat Hammered Rangers 4 0. Easy, and then they were three point, three, like three, five points clear um, of Rangers um, just after six games after a comprehensive victory, um, eventually winning 4 0. Celtic then turned the focus to Champions League action, watch the um, <laughs> well, the defending Champions League. Hold the Real Madrid to Glasgow last week in the final of final defeat and the postponement of weekend's fixtures. They returned to um, European action away to Shakhtar the next component, the second round of the group competition. On Wednesday, an early goal from, um, it was it was Tati, Tati shot it, but it actually came off the, um, it came up as an own goal, you yeah, forgive the own goal from Atrim Bordarenko, uh, gave the boys the lead, but it was um, on the hour mark, um, I. It was like 30 minutes in the game. Um, Shot to get level. This guy's really good. Modric, Modric, I think his name is. Um, but it's took a wee look at the form now. St. Mirren's Scottish Premiers are formed of the one three and lost for East Celtics. Um, SPFL formed of won all the last um, six games. Celtics form of competitions have won four, lost one, and done one. Obviously, that's the European games. Team news um, after staying injured against Rangers, Kyogo was fit to return. They start in 11 on Wednesday night against Shakta and the Japanese international should again lead the line, maybe. Um, with goals, six appearances. Six and goals and six appearances this term. Langer Leal Bada also boosts the 
Six league goals and also potential start at the front three Portuguese talent Jota and the other flank, although Dai's a major. Um, and George Shakimak is also pushing his spots in attack. Uh, I'm going to you can see it on screen right now, um, you're starting 11, my, my potential start 11. Um, and I've gone for Joe Hart and Goal. If you're just listening, I'll, I'll read it out to you, obviously. Um, Joe Hart and Goal, back for Greg Taylor, Calvin Carter, because of Celine Shane's, and for the injured staff, it will be not be back until after, after the international break. I put Tony Ralston the right back because, you know, the Yanks has played all the games so far this season, I think. A wee rest would be do the all the good also these big fixture condition now obviously with uh, national break and now after that. I'd just like to see Alison carry game because you know she's played a lot this season already. Uh, midfield says itself a Riley McGregor attack. I don't think it'll make many changes from Wednesday night. Um but the changes up front, the front three, Jota, Abada and Yakimakis. I was starting Yakimakis up front. Um I, I felt maybe he should have started Wednesday night, but we played men tonight, you know, we should have won the game anyway, so, um, yeah, um, I'll go Yakimakis, and um, I think he's a massive threat up top, so is Keogh, but you just played something different, Yakimakis, and that's why I'd go for him, um, and hopefully he gets a couple of goals today, and maybe a hat trick, maybe, um, but yeah, I think he's, um, number one, he's the gift from God, man, he's a uh, great striker, he's unbelievable, um, and he's he's played a couple, obviously, with Keogh mainly starting the games, he's not really, Big chances, but he's chances. Um, so hopefully, you know, he does start today with Jot and a bad on the wings. Um, midfield, uh, if I was if I'm interested to make change today, like you did against the uh, Ross County Cup before, but also before the national break now, uh, would I see making changes? Maybe I don't, I don't see much, right? I really don't. Maybe Turnbull in midfield, uh, I'd keep McGregor tired, I'd keep that midfield. Um, the defence I would make change three ran out for year Alston just to give him a bit more game time. Um each end says itself as a stuff or injured to the cover because they were got hot. Yeah, so that's that, that's the only kind of change. I made a couple of changes to the squad we played on Wednesday night against Shakhtar Donetsk. But yes, I am going for um Celtic have been in formidable form in the premierships top flight so far this season and we do not see St Mirren derailing that without record but we don't know, it's away from home, we always see it happen can sit can St Mirren on not the back of best form but they're at home, they always pose a threat in the can. Um seen teams already do that this season. Um but I'm gonna go three 0 Celtic. Um Celtic will just probably an odd dominant victory for Portugal's side. Um Yakimakis oops, Yakimakis, Jota, Abada. That's a goal for me today. Um hopefully it's a nice comfortable one, maybe add a goal difference more and go back to that five point lead at the top after no premiership action last weekend. So it'll be good. Uh, we're back. In the Sun's Premiership today, Maroos this year, um, against St Mirren, 12 o'clock kickoff, Sky Sports, and um, I'll see you guys later on for the match reaction. So, for now, Celtic, um, you've heard my team news and all that. So, yeah, uh, hopefully, Celtic will get that um, dominant victory again. That, and we just show how we've, would I say, bounced back? Would I say, learned from Wednesday night and just take every chance we've got today and put it in the back of the net? No, we shouldn't stop. Five, six, seven, eight, thing on. But yeah, um, that's my stroke that's no act today, guys. My preview to today's games. Hopefully, you enjoy it. On Sky Sports, 12 o'clock kickoff, and I'll see you guys later on for the match reaction.